a lot of cardboard. So we'll get these out in this bag. So I'm just gonna go take one by one. That's all of them. There's 20 of them. I'm only gonna sell 20 prints, so why not just get 20? <laughs> I just lay it down like this. I then place my print upside down, like that. The print's gonna go in and just roll it like that. That's just to give the print some shape. Nice. Too bad. I stick some tape, some more tape. The edges, I just like tuck them in nicely. So I'm gonna send some stickers as well. There you go, done. When I send something outside the UK, you have to fill this information thing. All the information is pretty easy to fill out and you just stick that on top as well. You can get them from post office. They'll just hand this to you for free. So I have two prints again to send. This person bought like a third print from me, which is really cool. Someone's collecting prints from me. And that guy's name is Misha. I hope you don't mind me mentioning your name. Thank you so much, man. And I love that you supported me and you love my work as well. I'm gonna pack another one, send that as well. And I'll see you later. Oh, this thing is not on eye level. Anyway, so I'm thinking about starting a new painting. Don't have any ideas right now. So what I'm gonna do is just go back into my sketchbook to see if I have a couple of ideas there that I can just use and start painting and last year I did I did these illustrations um, there's there's another one and there's, this is the second one and this third one I never finished in 2020 last year basically so that was like a series I was gonna do but I never did the third one so I thought maybe I'll do that uh, this year but like I'll spice it up a little bit and it won't be part of that series, but it'll be like a different piece, but stolen from the last series I did. And I'm thinking something to do with lipsticks. I did some drawings, you know, try to put them in there. And I'm gonna take that sketch into Illustrator and then just go over it, do some things with it, I don't know, play with it, see what I get. Once I have a sketch, I'll print it out, then just trace it on a canvas. Let me show you the canvas I bought. Uh, this is my new canvas I'll be working on. It's pretty huge, I can't find the pen hold on. Um, let's see. So, this is the canvas. Woo! It's, it's 50 by 60 centimeters. And uh, let's see how it goes. So, I printed out my design here on multiple pages because I don't have a big printer. And I'm gonna lay them out to see if they are right. Hold on a second. How do I pick them? Ah, okay, hold on. Yeah. So this goes here. I'm gonna cut them as well. This goes here. And then this. And this one here. A. Hey. Cool. And there's some extras here as well. This has nothing on it. And that has like a bit of lines. I'm gonna stick them up anyway. I'm gonna do. I have my trusty cutting board here as well. Oh shit, I dropped one. Beyond the table. Got it. My metal ruler always works. Cause I don't wanna cut myself or break like a plastic ruler. I'm gonna line these edges. Right there, that should work. Okay. Down. I'm gonna lay this on top. I mean, this is gonna lay on top. Cool. I'm not gonna fully tape this because there's no need. I'm just, I'm only using the citrus. Stick that one here. Cool. Maybe I should stick some here as well. That's done. And I'm gonna cut the other side. Do, 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 do. I'm 
that's all done. Let's line this thing up. So I just finished cutting the edges as well. Looks pretty clean. And now I'm just gonna take it over, put it on a canvas and start tracing. So this is the real test where I see if I um, actually got the dimensions right. So I'm gonna lay this up on top and watch this. It's pretty much edge to edge. Not pretty much, I think it's a spot on. That's crazy. I don't know what the painting is going to be like, you know? The size, proportions, everything perfect. I'm going to use this Serral transfer paper. I'm going to lay this on top. Masking tape isn't really working at all, so... We'll see. So now that I have everything taped up, I have a ballpoint pen with me, so I'm just gonna start tracing this. And finger cross. So I've just finished tracing, I'm just looking around. If I have missed any areas, don't think I have. I think everything is traced. So I'm gonna take this thing up. Oh, ah, see, I missed one line here, but the rest is there. So, <laughs> I mean, it's terrible tracing, but look, at least I know where things are and I can like start working with it. So, I'll uh, pick my camera up and show it to you. Look, mm. you look pretty good. Well, yeah, I'm gonna start painting though. So, I, I was trying to come up with a background color, and I think I'm leaning towards more greenish color with some blue in there as well and it's mostly white titanium white but I think I like this I'm gonna run a small test I like it so it turns out I'm out of titanium white so what I'm gonna do is I have another bottle here so no need to worry so my plan is to mix the paint I need in this bottle and then every time if I need more or like to cover some areas, it's always there. So I don't have to mix it again. First thing I'm gonna do is add a bit of green. That's a lot. a lot. It's always good to have more than I need. Because you don't want to run out of the paint you want this to be short. I'm gonna add a bit of water in there. I've got the lid thing here. I broke this by the way. So I did some testing and I looked at this greenish color, then I added some blue in there. I'm digging this one and I, that I did a little test. I think I'm liking this one. And it's already mixed. Look, these are some different tests I did. And it's all mixed in there. It's ready to go. So I'm gonna start painting the background. Look at it. Look at this green color. You yeah. 